Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy, MF Crypto here, a.k.a. Quant Street Domus, a.k.a. The Wife Changer, a.k.a. The Quant Father. Once again. And as always, I'm on a mission to help you build generational wealth. Welcome back to the channel, my fellow subscribers and quant fam. For those of you who may be tuning in for the very first time, welcome in as well. Do yourselves a major favor and hit that subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications because I provide the single greatest quant network updates on all of YouTube. Without any further delay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Quant network update. Are we headed higher or lower next? And I'll be breaking right into that after this exciting update I have for you over on Udemy, ladies and gentlemen. I have a course titled My Crypto Portfolio and Wealth Building Insights. It is currently under review. I submitted it earlier this morning. Guys, I put together over an hour long course lecture for all students of all different levels, beginner, intermediate, advanced level, crypto investors, traders, whatever you are. You can see the entire contents of my portfolio in this course, top to bottom, the exact asset allocations, and what you need to be looking for moving forward in this space. I'll teach you how to time the bull runs to know when to take profits, to know whether or not Bitcoin is still a solid investment in regards to other altcoins. Should you be backing blue chip altcoin assets or should you have the majority of your money and capital invested in Bitcoin? I break down every single bit of knowledge you need to succeed in this space. And you also get to see the infamous Quadridamus' portfolio on full display in glory. It is absolutely magnificent, ladies and gentlemen. Do yourselves a major favor. Check this out. I will drop the link on Twitter, and it will be the first link in all my YouTube videos once it is approved. And I will be giving you guys many different chances moving forward for free access to the course itself. I busted my tail on this course the past few days, sun up to sundown. I did nothing but work exercise and pray during those past few days to get this course completed and I'm so excited to be able to deliver that to you today. Now back to what you've all been waiting for the quant price action update. We're currently trading at 109.01 up 5.04% on the daily. Ladies and gentlemen take a look down here on the weekly chart. That last video I told you we needed to stay above 94.4. We did just that. We came down to as low as the $96 mark. And I told you, we need to see a price bounce. I want to see us hold $100 of support and bounce back up to the 110 level. And what did we see exactly? We bounced exactly up to 110, the high of 110.75 over here. Quadradamus does it again, ladies and gentlemen. He shepherds the flock. It's because he's here for you. No one does it better than Quantradamus, ladies and gentlemen. I'll continue to shout it from the rooftops. How many times do my videos have to be so precise and absolutely dead accurate before the haters start paying homage to your man's Quantradamus? It's really just laughable at this point. They hate just to hate at this point because he cannot be matched in this space. He is second to none. Now, what we're looking for here, ladies and gentlemen, this coincides directly. Let's slide up and take a look at BTC price action. This coincides, as I've said many times in the past, with BTC seeing a sharp price rise action. Let's go over to the weekly here. We were in the 26.5 range, shot up to about 27,000 before we took off and topped out at about 28.5. Guys, how many times have I said we are tied to the hip of BTC price action? And that is what we saw. It saved us from absolute collapse 
in our last line of support before complete validation of the head and shoulders pattern over on QNT here. We ranged up to 110. We reclaimed $100 support. This was all forecasted in the previous video. This is why it's so important to stay on top of my video updates because I provide the uncut rule to you guys because I love each and every one of you. Now, the next phase is we need to be watching this 110 level. If we can break out above 110 and start heading towards the 120 range, we might be looking at a legitimate breakout. I believe that is unlikely. However, in order to be able to do that, we need a cooperative BTC to at the very least sit sideways. More than likely, it'll need to continue rising. We saw this BTC price rise as a result of GOP here in the United States or the Republicans. For those of you who do not understand the lingo, GOP is the Republican Party coming to terms with a tentative proposal to raise the debt ceiling here in the United States. And the markets were relieved as a result of that. Now, moving forward, we are still in absolute dire straits as far as the markets are concerned. The global economic situation is beyond deteriorated. Banks will start to fall one by one in the coming days, weeks, and months. Credit card debt is over $1 trillion. It is an utter disaster. That is always an imminent sign that things are about to head for the worst. Regional banks will no longer be able to give out loans to small businesses and the small businesses and the middle class and the lower class are going to get obliterated. We're going to see an even larger gap between lower class and upper class households and families. We need to brace for economic despair. But in regards to Quant Network, what I've seen is everything that Quant Shadamas forecasted up to this point, and I'm very excited. We have reclaimed that $100 level of support. So if we bounce off that 110 and continue and we come back down, I'm looking at 100 to retest that support zone again. We want that to hold up. It's going to keep poking into that $100 range. We're going to keep poking down and testing it over and over again until something gives one way or another. Ladies and gentlemen, look for that very important psychological $100 level. It tells you everything you need to know moving forward, whether we are going up or down. We do not want to lose that $100 psychological level. That is ultra critical. And if we continue to rise beyond 110, we are looking at a legitimate breakout opportunity for QNT. I will keep you updated. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. This has been another feature presentation by MF Crypto, a.k.a. Quantstradamus, a.k.a. The Wife Changer, a.k.a. The Quant Father, the number one source for all your quant needs. I'll see you next episode. Cheers. If the lion is the king of the jungle, how can he be the king of the jungle? If he's not the biggest, the elephant is probably one of the biggest. He can't be the fastest because that's a cheetah. He can't be the smartest. So he's not the biggest, the fastest, or the smartest. So how does a lion become the king of the jungle? His mentality. That's the only difference of a lion and an elephant. When a lion walks up and sees an elephant, he thinks lunch. An elephant thinks run. And it's all mentality. Because when a male lion walks up, he may be outnumbered by a pack of hyenas, but I'm king of my jungle because of my mentality. What happens when you're a gazelle and you're not being pushed? You're not being prodded. You're not giving it a reward. Nobody's encouraging you. What happens when you're a gazelle and the lion's not chasing you anymore? You stop running. But what happens when you're a lion? When you're a lion, it does not make a difference. You realize that if your family is going to eat, that if that pack of lions is to survive, then you gotta go hunt. 
A part of being a beast just ain't eating a gazelle. A part of being a beast is the hunts. It's the hunt that they're excited about. They like to see the gazelles run. Then boom, they take off. Cause real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the prize. And some of y'all just want to score. You don't like the process. You're not in love with the process. A true hunter's goal is not the prize. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time, you go by the gazelle. When you are a true hunter, you hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. If you're going to do what you say you're going to do, be what you say you're going to be, you're going to have to lie me out. You a gazelle, you're going to come up short. You a gazelle, you're going to have an average experience. You a student, I need you in lion mode. You an entrepreneur, I need you in lion mode. You try to lose weight, lion mode. You can't do nothing significant in gazelle mode, nothing. Nothing impressive happens in gazelle mode. Nothing happens in run mode, give up mode, quit mode, scared mode, fearful mode, nothing happens. Everything happened in lion mode like I'm coming to get you.